Now that we've talked about annuities, let's extend that by looking at a um, pretty interesting type problem that involves two annuities. And for example, suppose you have a child that's just been born and 18 years from now you're hoping to pro provide her with $50,000 a year for her college education for the four years she's in college. How much money do you need to save right now? Okay, or how much money do you need to save each year starting next year for those 18 years so that you'll have enough money to um, take out the 50000 a year? So let's take a look at this. Let me draw a time cash flow diagram, hopefully. And this is where these come in handy. You know, a lot of times, you know, I drew these and you sort of look at them and you say, well, you know, who, who really cares? I don't, I don't really need to look at these uh, cash flow diagrams. It's not, it's not a big deal. But down here we have time. And right here is zero. All right, and you're going to have one, two, dot, 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 uh, all the way out to year 18. And then we're going to have 19, 20, 21, oops, sorry, 21, and 22. All right, so what, what do we have here? So we're going to make this assumption. You're going to start saving in year one. You're going to make the last deposit in year 18. And she's going to start taking out the money in year 19. So 19, 20, 21, and 22 will be when she's withdrawing the money. So let, let's try and uh, fill in the rest of this diagram. And again, drawing a little picture can be helpful in this case. I know in a lot, like I said, in a lot of cases, it just seems sort of silly. It's such a simple problem. You don't need the little picture. But in this case, this I think is pretty helpful. Okay, so we're going to have four of these lines, or I'm going to draw, make it an arrow in a second, arrows going up. And the reason they go up is they signify that we will be receiving the money, taking the money out of our account. So let me just put those arrows up. And so she's going to be taking out 50000 right, each time. A little too crowded to draw it in each one. But she gets 50000 each year. All right. Now, down here, I'm going to draw a little picture. I'm sorry, I covered up the one. And so there's, there's a, there are going to be arrows pointing down. There are going to be 18 of these. And so, and this is this is the number, this is year one. So again, arrows pointing down, meaning that we're saving the money, we're putting money away. So what you should notice here is that essentially we have two annuities. Okay, this is an annuity. The amount that we we want to take out or we want to allow her to take out for those four years she's in college. And down here is an annuity, the amount that we'll be saving. All right, we want to save the same amount. I, maybe I should have penciled that in. Okay, we'll call it A, A dollars. So she's going to save, we want to save A dollars, A dollars. We want to do that 18 times. And so how would you solve for this? Well, this is a two-step approach. First, let's figure out how much money we need to have in our account in year 18 so that she can take out this. We've done that before, right? We've, we've had cases where we've said, what's the present value of, of some annuity? All right, so, you know, if she wants to take out $50,000 a year, how much do you have to have in the account now? Or how much would you be willing to pay for that? Once you solve that part, the second part is, how much do we need to deposit each year for the 18 years so that we'll have that amount of money in the account? So yeah, you have to do this in two steps. Okay, sometimes people look at this, students look at this, and they say, well, there must be one formula. Well, there, there isn't. There are two annuity formulas. So let's start with the, with the first part. All right, so the value, or let's say, let's call it the, so step one. I write down this way, step one. 
how much do we need in the account in year 18? Okay, that's to reach this goal of taking 50000 a year out for each of the um, four years she's in college. So what is that? Well, let's look at it. We're looking for the present value of this annuity, right? Even though it's year 18, it's a present value because the cash flows are in the future. They're in year 19, 20, 21, and 22. And it's an ordinary annuity because the first cash flow is one period into the future. So let's just solve that out, okay? So the present value in year 18, okay, is going to be equal to the A dollars. We can use that annuity formula, which I believe is 1 minus 1 over 1 plus the interest rate raised to the nth power divided by the interest rate. Okay, I didn't give you an interest rate, so let's give you an interest rate. Let's say the interest rate is 10%. So let's just plug into this. All right, we want to be able to take 50,000 out. And so we're going to have 1 minus 1 over 1.10 raised to the fourth power, right, you're taking it, this out for four years, divided by 0.10. All right, after I solve this out this way, uh, we'll do it with the financial calculator to see if we get the right answer. All right, so we have 1.1 raised to the fourth power, and we want to flip that over and then make it negative, because this needs to be negative so we can add it to 1 or subtract it from 1. I'm going to make that negative, and then plus 1, and then divided by 0.1. And then let's just multiply that by the 50,000. And we get 158,000. 158,000 four hundred and ninety three dollars and if you want you can throw in the twenty seven cents it's probably not necessary now does the answer make sense well remember you're earning interest on the money that's deposited remember you're not going to take all the money out at once and so you should have you should need less than two hundred thousand if the interest rate was zero then you would need two hundred thousand dollars but the interest rate is not zero it's ten percent so it should be less than than 200,000, so that seems like a reasonable number. Let's try the financial calculator. Let's clear our time value of money workspace. We know n is equal to four. We know the in interest rate is 10%. We know the payment is 50,000, right? This is the annuity. And let's compute the present value. What do we get? 158,493.27, so good. We've, we've got that right, okay. Step two, step two is how much do we need to save each year to reach 158,493.27? Okay, how much do we need to save each year? So we're going to save the same amount. reach you know 158 493 and 27 cents well if we went back to our diagram actually I'll draw another diagram okay I'm gonna draw another diagram and you know the diagram has been simplified it's been simplified because we no longer have the the first annuity we have one lump sum here so so right now we know that we want 158,000 
493.27 in year 18. And so we're going to be saving 1, 2, you know, et cetera, all the way out to year 18. And we're going to be saving, oh, I forgot to draw those little arrows in, and I didn't leave myself room, so again, I'm writing over the 1 here. And we're going to start one year from now. So that's going to make it an ordinary annuity. So again, let's see what we've got here. This is the arrow pointing down, arrow pointing down, A, A, and A. So now you now it's just a simple future value of the annuity problem, right? This is the future value. This is the A. So what is this going to look like? Well, we can write out the, the equation as the future value equals the annuity times the annuity factor, which I believe is 1 plus r raised to the nth power um, minus 1 divided by r. We'll find out if I have the right formula. But we want to solve for a, so we can just divide both sides by this thing. So a is going to be equal to What do we have? Future value divided by that whole thing in the brackets there. And let me see if I can't pencil that in again. All right? 1 plus r raised to the nth power minus 1 divided by r. Okay? Substitute in our numbers. 158. 493 and 27 cents all over 1.10 raised to the 18th power this is 18 periods minus 1 divided by 0.10 all right let's see what we get all right so I have 1.1 raise it to the 18th power minus 1 divided by 0.1 okay so what I did is I solve for what's in the parentheses here so I'll just flip that over and multiply it by the 158 493 27 so 1 over X times 158 493 and 27 cents so we get $3,475.79. Okay, so let's, let's pencil that in and then we'll check using the, the functions on the financial calculator. $3,475.79. Okay, let's just go back to our time value of money worksheet. Clear it and N is 18. Interest rate is 10. The future value is 158, 493, and 27 cents. And we want to compute the payment. And we do get the right answer there. We get the same answer. So again, let's, let's, let's go back to the original picture here. You have two annuities. Do the first step. Start with the number that you know. And then figure out how much money you have to have in the account. And then in the second step, now that you know how much money you need to have in the account, it simply becomes a future value of the annuity problem, which I drew here. And so now you figure out how much you need to deposit each year so that you'll have this amount of money in your account. Okay. You can also do the opposite case where you know the annuity, you know how much you're saving each year, you're asking yourself, how much can you take out each period? And um, since this tutorial is getting a little long, I'll do that in the next tutorial.